Hello from Tokyo! Today I'm going to paint some cherry blossoms on a white background but instead of these darker blossoms I'm going to try and create lighter ones like this. So ideally I want to have a lot of white remaining or some of the primary magenta mixing into a pink and I'll use the white and a little bit of light gold as well. I'd like something even lighter than these two so we'll see how we go. As per usual, I'm using titanium white as my base and the pouring medium is in the description box. I don't know if you can tell, but I have some clumps of paint stuck on the side of the lip there because I've used the cup a few times. So I'm going to actually sieve the paint directly onto the canvas like this. It means I don't have to waste using another cup by transferring it first. So, now let's stretch out the base paint. So check out the sieve. Can you tell I do have clumps in there? Now one thing I forgot to do today was to torch out any air bubbles. So don't forget to do that. And then you can start to layer on the colors. Today's primary magenta, as you can see, it's a little bit thicker than the base paint as it's mixed with a tiny bit of Floetrol. The recipe is in the description box. So today's exercise really is seeing how I can achieve a lighter color blossom by mixing the white and primary magenta by blowing them rather than mixing them into a pink first manually. Um, so we'll see how that goes. The temptation here is to add more primary magenta if it starts to look a little bit too light, but that kind of wrecks it because really you want more white. So that's the tricky part I think for today. Okay, I'm going to come back to talk to you again once I start balloon smashing. However, today I'll be fluctuating from smashing to adding more paint um, because I'm just experimenting with trying to get this light blossom. So anyhow, I'll speak to you again in a bit. I hope you enjoy the painting today. It's time to balloon smash, but I wonder if you can see this well because it's so light. Well, I think you can see, okay. <laughs> but if you can't, you'll be able to see more once we get to the close-up for sure. I'm actually thinking it's already a bit too dark, to be honest. I feel it needs a lot more white. I'm going to add some more colors, uh, more of the primary magenta and at some point I will start adding the light gold as well for just a little bit of a contrast. I'm not very tall so I'm constantly knocking into my painting <laughs> so without the reach I like to use a straw especially for the middle of my painting so I recommend that if you're short like me. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm going to add some gold now to some spots just to add a little bit of interest. Now this is where I shouldn't have put so much primer magenta down. Even if I blow on top of it, there's still some showing and I think that it was too dark, that section just there. So I'm going to start fixing some of the middles by dabbing my finger into the primary magenta and then dabbing the centers of the flowers like this. I feel like something's missing just there so I'm going to do another flower, lay down some more paints and in fact this flower I think ended up being my favorite. It was very, very light. So I finally achieved what I wanted to achieve at the last flower. I wasn't so sure about that section there, so I dabbed it off with some uh, paper towels and added some more titanium white. Hopefully it will dry flat. So now let's have a look at the wet finish and let's go in for a closer look from this corner. As you can see this side, I think I have too much primary magenta there, but this, this one here is the last one that I did and that really achieved what I wanted. If you've watched any of my other floral paintings, you will see this is lighter than usual for sure. And here's where I just tried to fix the white. It looks like a smiley face, don't you think? <laughs> Hopefully it'll dry flat. Although these are darker than what I wanted, they're still very pretty. I say darker, but I'm talking about the lines. I could try the same with a pink colored paint, but I feel like it's more interesting trying to make your own pink with the magenta and white. Oh, here, this is where I popped the air bubbles a bit late. So um, hopefully that will, won't affect the whole painting. Let's now see how the painting dried. I'm going to start from this top left hand corner here where I thought it was gonna be too dark and it is too dark for what I wanted to do today. And so the one next to it though, this one with the white, pink, and gold, it's perfect. I love the outline and the shape, and the gold is looking embossed, which is cool. The one next to it I also like, apart from it's a bit dark there again. Yeah, this bit here. Usually I love that, but it's not what I wanted today, that's all. You know, it's still great, it's still pretty, but I was trying to do very, very light flowers, which is quite tricky. But aren't they beautiful as they are anyway? I love lacing usually, but I didn't want it today. So that's really funny because usually I'm really desperate for lacing. I'm always trying to make lacing. Don't these look a bit like watercolors? So you know what? I am going to do a part two with this painting. I'm gonna add more to it because there are bits I don't like with the dark. There's too much dark with the light and there's bits that look a little bit messy. So I'm gonna do something else. I have, um, see those sort of parts there? I wanna kinda of put something else on top and I have a lot of white left. So there will be a part two and 
and I hope to see you in that one. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video today and see you next time. Bye!